What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're doing some bank fishing. Now let me explain why we are doing that. I really wanna go on the boat right now. I really wanna go on the kayak right now. But my main problem has been this last week. It's been raining so much. Every single day it's been raining and we usually get like an hour to a two hour period of where we can actually fish. And another thing is I've been, I've graduated Saturday. I've been trying to get all of that out of the way. I'm graduating college. I'm excited about that. It's a big, you know, chapter that I'm finally getting taken care of. I'm gonna be out of school, finally getting to do this full time. So I'm so excited about it. Ever since the start, you know, I've been doing this around eight years, but ever since the start, I've been in school. So I'm just so excited to get out and um, just pursue this whole dream, pursue this whole career full time and just go kill it with you guys. And I'm just so excited about it. I'm so pumped. I'm just so ready for school to be over. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing some bass fishing. We're gonna be trying to catch some big ones. The conditions are awesome. It's a lot of clouds in the sky. It's overcast. The pressure has dropped a little bit. It's been raining a ton. We're gonna see if we can catch some big ones today. So right now on my rod, I just brought out my mock crush. Like I said, I only got about an hour to fish. I have a shaky head with a prawn on it currently but I have a bait that I wanna trade this out for. So one, I got my pliers. And two, I got the bait that I'm gonna be throwing today. This is actually the Quake 80 by six cents. If you guys are wondering about this color, it's in Shad Scales. If you guys wanna get a discount, I'll pop the code up on the screen. You don't have to use it, it's just there if you want to. But yeah, we're gonna tie this bad boy on. As you guys can tell, this is a natural color. It's got a little bit of white, it's got a little bit of flashiness to it. It's gonna be awesome for this day. And this water clarity out here is actually really clear as well. Um, so I think this natural color right here is gonna do the trick. We're gonna tie this bad boy on. This is actually the big one. It's not the Quake 70, this is the Quake 80. This is a big boy that a big bass is going to eat. So we're going to go ahead and tie this up and then start casting, see if we can hunt for a big bass. We're going to cover a lot of water with the little time that we have. I hope we can crush it. We also got that big bass energy on today, so we're excited about that. We're going to be on the hunt. Let's get it started. First things first, let's cut the shaky head off. We might end up coming back to it. That's the reason I didn't rig up before I came out here, because I was like, you know what? I'll just cut that off, and if I ever need it, That'll be perfect. Let's go ahead and get this Quake 80 out of the package. This is a big boy for a big bass. See, I've thrown the Quake 80s before in like the brown eye and some of the, you know, crawfish color patterns, never thrown a shad one. And this is just, trust me, this is a honking lipless right here. It's gonna take a big bass to eat it. I'm sure we could catch some small ones on it too, but in my opinion, it's, it's gonna take a big one to eat this thing. All right, boys, we got this bad boy tied on. It is time to get her started. We're just gonna start fan casting. Last time we came out here was with Bradley. It was about three weeks ago. We had a few big fish. A lot of the big fish I didn't even put in the video. Um, there's a bunch of big ones out here. You just gotta find them. I'm just hoping that they're gonna be biting today. Um, there's some small ones in here too. Recently, I've been catching a lot more smaller fish than big ones, but like I said, that doesn't mean anything. The big ones are lurking, lurking around here and uh, with the conditions today, it could be perfect for a big bite. There he is. Gosh, that's a big one, I'm pretty sure, guys. This is a big bass. Golly, what in the world? I got him hooked weird. I can't even move this fish. Oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. No way, we just got started. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. It's a solid like three pounder. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that right there. Look how he ate that quake. That is awesome. That is awesome. Get our pliers out on this one. Oh yeah, that's a good fish to start off the day. He just loaded up on that sucker. This might be a really good bite. I mean, we just got started. First cast, real cast out on that flat. And that's a solid almost three pounder right there. Beautiful fish. Lay him down. Look at that. It's an awesome bass right there. He ain't quite three, but he's pushing up there. There he goes. Oh yeah, that fish felt so big. I think it was just the way that I had that bass hooked. Look at him swimming right under that grass. Water's super clear out here. That is awesome for the first fish today, guys. That's exciting. We're just gonna keep on casting and hopefully we'll sack up one that's around five, six pounds. All right, first fish knocked off the list. You guys know that's always the 
Hardest part of the day is just getting your first bass and building your confidence up. And to get that right off the bat, that's such a good sign. And uh, it's got my confidence running. I think we can catch a few more really good fish. And that was a good bass right there on the quake. This is, like I said, the big quake right here. He just loaded up on that sucker. I was just reeling it across his flat and he just decided to grab it. I've seen a lot of activity right here. It seems like some bait is popping, some bass are chasing bait. Like I said, the conditions today are just panning out for that. So we're just gonna keep on casting. Let's see if we can hook some more. big he hammered that sucker though oh must have been a gator over there in that corner that spooks me gosh you hit that thing so good buddy for the size of you man he loaded up on that thing good i think that's the way to get him i think i just figured out the way to catch him it was actually exactly what i was doing on the last cast i was kind of blindsided by it but you know the biggest thing is i'm throwing it out there at least on these last two fish i'm letting it hit the bottom and then I'm just straight retrieving it, just burning it right there. And that's what's triggering them to bite. But I think if you just throw it out there and you don't let it sink, I think you're gonna miss a lot of fish. I'm thinking a big thing to this is letting it hit the bottom and then burning that thing back in. That was a gator that hopped off the bank right when I flipped this thing on the bank, but pretty little fish, nothing big. Just throw him right back over there and get back in the water. I think we figured exactly how to work, work that bait right there for the fish to bite. So if we can continue to do that, and catch a fish doing exactly like I was saying, throwing this bait out there, letting it hit the bottom, come up on that drop off, start to reel the bait on the flat. I think that's gonna be the key to our success. So I just threw it out there and let it hit the bottom just like that. Now I'm just gonna start burning this thing in. And that's exactly what we're doing. I think that's what's gonna catch them. Then these fish are just load right up on this thing. guys guys i can't tell how big this oh yeah oh yeah oh he ain't that huge he's a good fish though that's a two number right there <laughs> it's the way that they're eating this thing so crazy it's just i'm reeling it on the bottom and they just load up on it and they feel so freaking big like honestly from the start of when i hooked that fish it was in the back of my head that was like, is this even a fish? Like the way that they're feeling. And I think it's because the way I'm hooking them on their bottom lip. It's just crazy, man. Solid little two, little tiny two pounder. Nothing bad. Third fish today, can't even complain. Thank you, bud. And these are some healthy fish too. They just got like a little gut on them. I'm gonna give him a little toss so I can get him a little bit of water out there. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Same way that I caught those last two. That's what I'm saying. Now we're figuring out a pattern. That's exactly what you got to do is duplicate what works. So for all you guys that are, you know, new to fishing out there, having a hard time getting bites, you know, if you start to figure something out, just keep doing what you're doing. And if it continues to work, don't, I mean, don't stop. Unless the conditions totally flop on you, conditions totally change and you have to adapt to that and you know, switch to something else or switch to a different retrieve or whatever that means. But if you guys figure something out, just continue to continue to duplicate that. And the bite hasn't been super quick. That first one came off, you know, or came, we caught that first one really fast. But, you know, the, dude, next cast. See? This is what I'm saying. This is, ex oh, yeah. This is exactly what I'm saying, man. This is exactly what I'm saying about getting a pattern right there. That's not even a big one. Oh, my God. That's a little pound and a half. -er. Next cast, though. Same thing, guys. All four fish. And I got them hooked the same way. That is the craziest thing. I'm pretty sure every fish we caught today has been hooked on the bottom lip. But the trick is to keep this bait on the bottom and just burn it. That's it. There's a bunch of grass out here, but as fast as I'm reeling it and getting it through that grass and popping my rod, you know, I'm not really getting all that stuff on there. But that's a pretty pound, pound, pound and a half fish right there. Another nice one. Literally next cast, man. This is exactly how it's supposed to go. Just keep it going. Keep her going. We might have fired those fish up too. That's a whole nother topic. Because, you know, there might be a school of bass out there, and now we caught two of them back to back. You know, they might be firing them up and wanting to eat. So, and they could be feeding on a bunch of bait down there, and that's the reason why we're catching them right here. So, you know, we just got to keep on going. We might end up 
you know, looking into a really good bite. And, and if we find that hot spot, that hot cache or that hot spot on this drop off out here, you know, you can just keep catching them. That's the glory of it. But we're going to keep on going. That's the good thing about fishing offshore and not just throwing that cover all the time. You know, if you can find some structure offshore, whether it's a drop off, whether it's a big flat, whatever it is that you find fish stacked up on, you just keep that going. It's actually raining right now. Um, it's not raining hard. It's like a little bit of sprinkle, but we just got to keep this thing going. No way. Oh, that's a big one. I can't even move this fish. Oh, he's trying. Uh, don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They eat it the same way. This is two casts after those other two. They are just down there. That This one was on the drop off. He loaded up right before I came up on the drop off onto the flat. Yeah, that's a good fish. That might be a three. Yep. That's a three pounder all freaking day. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that right there. I don't understand why these fish look so much smaller on camera. I actually have him hooked differently. Look at that. That's about same size as that first one I caught. Freaking good fish. He was right there on the drop off. Like I said, once you fire him up like that offshore, dude, you can you can get into an insane bite, especially with these conditions right now. Pressure's dropping. Fish are starting to bite. This is awesome. This fish is bleeding a lot. We're going to get her right back in the water, but that's almost a three pounder. It's a two number. Beautiful bass right there. Pretty fish. That is awesome. She loaded up on the drop off. See a lot of these fish, the last two, right? See, I'm beaming out there as far as I can. There's a drop off about as far as I can rip off. I let that bait sink to the bottom. As I'm reeling, I'm feeling that quake come up that drop off right there. I'm feeling it come up. Those two fish before this one ate it up on the flat. Once it came up on the drop off, that fish was directly on the drop off. As I was feeling it bumping the bottom coming up the drop off, he loaded up on it. Let's keep her going because we might have fired him up. You know, we might be able to just keep catching him. One thing I noticed, guys, you know, we walk this whole bank and we caught a fish here and then we caught a fish down there. But now we really figured out where they're stacked up. And that is that that is the glory of it. You guys got to cover water. You can't just sit in the same spot like I'm doing right this second and think that you're going to catch them. You know, you got to travel. You got to figure out where these fish are at. And then once you find them, you hone in exactly like what I'm doing right now. This is how you just keep continuing to catch them. But you can't do this if you're sitting in the same spot the whole time. You need to walk around. You need a walking cast. You need to cover water. You need to figure out where the fish are at. Just like a lake. Right there. Look at that. None of these are like giants either, but they're just, they're active fish that are feeding right now. They're all locked in the same area. We caught four fish in the same spot right here. And the first fish came in the same spot too. So there's a ton of fish to be caught right here. The rain is starting to come in, I'm not going to lie. I just don't want to leave right now because I feel like we're just firing them up. And they're just going to continue to keep biting if we just keep her going. This pressure is dropping with this rain and this and the storm that's pushing in right now. So that's making the bite even better. We're making the same cast, guys. Every single cast. The same exact cast, working it the same way and getting bites every single time. There he is. Oh, that feels like the best one yet. I'm being honest with you here. These fish feel so big. It's just the way they're eating it. This one actually, I think is the biggest one. We caught two that were like three pounds, but this one I think is bigger. And he's not. It's a two number. Why do you feel so freaking big? It's two pounder though. What is coming out of your butt? Oh my God, a fishing worm's coming out of his butt. Guys, I just caught this fish and it has a worm hanging out of his butt. Look at that. Just pulled that right out. That's nasty, man. This is why you don't throw your soft plastics in the water. And also just pulled this dang worm right here. A little piece of a worm right out of his butt. That's nice right there. <laughs> a little two pound fish. The rain stopped a little bit, but that's a pretty little guy. This guy is totally post spawn. I can tell right there. Really skinny bass, but pretty beautiful one. Throw him right back right there. He's on with his day. Let's keep her going. Same spot again, guys. It took us about 10 casts after that last one, but you know, I'm still believing in this spot. I just think there's so many fish stacked up down there that we can catch. What's up guys. This is a couple hours later from where I left you guys off. It started to rain a little bit. I had to go get some other stuff done. 
but then it stopped raining. It's actually pretty nice outside. It's very humid. There's a bunch of cloud cover still, but the one thing that I'm curious about is the conditions are totally different from when we first came here. Right when we came out, the pressure was dropping, the storm was coming in, the rain just started to fall down, and you guys noticed something. The fish were biting. They were biting really good. But how are these fish going to be affected after that rainstorm that came through? I don't know. We're going to find out today. We just got to keep on casting. If you guys were wondering where I left you guys off, I was standing right here on the bank. I was beaming all the way out on that drop off and I would let my Quake right here, Quake 80, fall all the way to the bottom and I would reel her in and that was just triggering those bass to bite. And as we know, when that storm was coming in, there was a whole school of, ba school of bass that was just out there and they were munching. You know, we caught five or six standing in the same exact spot. So we're gonna try it out today. Um, we're gonna start off on what we left off on, see if the fish are biting there. And if they're not, we're gonna have to figure out a new pattern to end up catching these fish. So let's go ahead and get it started. Please hit that like button if you guys have made it this far. Hit that subscribe button as well. Let's go ahead and hop into this. We're gonna just keep on throwing the Quake 80. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Oh, bloop. There she is, guys. That was a cast that we were making the whole time. Oh my God, I forgot my pliers. Big mistake. Like I said, this is where we left off. Ugh. We're gonna beam a cast all the way out here. As you guys can tell, I gave it everything. And we're right on the edge of that drop off. So like I said, letting the bait fall. Let's see if this technique that we were using earlier today is gonna work because there's a big chance that they're not gonna be doing the same thing um, of when that storm is coming in and this post storm that's already gone through. I don't know, but I guess we're gonna see. I guess we're going to see and we're just gonna cast and try to figure out these fish. And um, like I said, if it's not working, we'll try something new. We'll figure something else out and we'll learn from it. There he is. Oh man, that might be a big one. That's a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Guys, this is a good fish. This might this is definitely the biggest one on video. I have not had a bite yet, and that sucker just demolished it. Look at that. Oh, don't do it. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh yeah, look at that solid three pounder guys look at this right here first one on the trip back and this is the biggest one all video freaking huge head on this bass right here all on the quake 80 again that natural color i did mess up by coming back out here and i did not bring pliers that is never something you want to do especially when throwing treble hook baits but that is a beautiful three pound fish right there huge head on her right there and that is a beautiful bass. You gotta love that. That is the biggest one in this video. We had two more that are around the same size, but this fish I can just tell by holding it is a lot heftier fish. Got a beautiful, just big fat head on that bass. And that is an awesome one right there. We're gonna get her right back in the water, see if we can catch another one. That was an awesome bite. I think I'm gonna have to toss her. As you guys can tell, it's a bunch of like mud. You know, I wanna get her back in the water, get her safe. Let's give her like just a little toss. All right. Well, that was the first fish. Next thing we can do is keep on casting. Pow. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. I think I got her hooked weird. Yeah, I do. Gosh dang it. The fish felt so large. I got her like under the chin. Of course, we don't have any pliers. Oh, that is when you need pliers right there. I will say that. All right, so in this situation, I don't have pliers. I'm going to grip this bass on his gill plates. That's going to paralyze him right here. I have both of his gill plates down. I don't talk about this a lot. This is probably one of the most valuable things I'll ever talk about in kicking their bass. If you hold them how I'm holding them, they're paralyzed. And you got to be firm with your grip. You can't be scared. You got to go in, you got to grab them, and you got to manhandle them. And he'll be perfectly fine. You get the hook out of them. Then you'll release them back in the water just like that as you guys can tell the bass is not flopping around i can do whatever with this fish right now and he is not going anywhere right there grip both of his gill plates down just like that he can't do anything see if i put him in my hand that's when he can shake 
Obviously he's not right now. He knows I got him in control. But right here, grab their gill plates down, put some pressure on it. That fish is not going anywhere. We're gonna give him a toss back. I thought this fish was so big. I had him like hooked weird, like in the bottom. He just, oh, he felt so good. Little fat guy though. Thank you, bud. You know, I'm starting to think about it, and this is one of the biggest liplesses I've thrown. Like I said, this is the Quake 80. This one's fairly large. It, like, if I put this next to a regular lipless, this thing is way bigger than it. And I'm starting to think that that might be why these fish are feeling so big, too. Because, you know, this thing's like double the weight of a normal lipless. And it's just, it's just crazy, man. <laughs> Everyone I've hooked just felt really big. And I'm doing the same thing as I was doing earlier. You know, nothing different. Caught two fish in the same spot. We might end up doing what we did last time, where you just keep on catching them in the same area. Might just be stacked on a different part of that drop-off. Let me get this cast in. Oh! Gosh, hammered that thing. I don't think he's big. He feels big. Like I said, they all feel big because of this. Yeah, he's not even big. He's fighting good. Oh my gosh, I about took my head off of that lipless. All right, that was a good quick release. <laughs> they really want this. That's a good one. That's a, it has to be a big one. I'm telling you guys, this is unbelievable how hard these fish. You better be big. You better be big, you pig. You look at him running sideways. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. She's a solid two and a half, but I just don't understand why you feeling so big, girl. Look at that. That's a good fish. That was actually next cast when I about hit myself in the face with the lipless crankbait. It's the last thing you want to do is throw a crankbait into your face. And that is a beautiful two pound bass. Gotta love it. They feel so large. I don't even know what a five pounder is gonna feel like on that lipless right there. That thing is literally making the fight twice as hard, which I kinda enjoy it. I like it. It makes every single fish seem big. And beautiful one right there. Get her right back in the water to swim another day. And uh, we might have found them stacked out there. So I'm excited about that. Two bites, one fat fish, many more to come. All right, guys, it's two bites and two casts. Maybe it's going to be like that other spot. We've done that twice today where we've thrown, thrown two casts back to back and hooked two fish, which is very exciting. You know, you got to love that. But there might be more down there, which is always the question. I mean, if there's two, there's got to be three, right? And if there's three, there has to be four. And if there's five, I'd say there's probably about 25. Look at that. Three casts in a row. Oh, he came off again. What? He ate it up on the flat. That is just unbelievable right there. See, they're stacked. That's where they're at. They're stacked out there. Guys, I didn't even have my camera on, but first cast, right out here, I hooked another one. Didn't even have my camera running. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just pulled up first cast on this spot. A little small guy. About a pound, pound and a half max. There we go, guys. Another little fish, only about a pounder, but it's thick and chunky guy. Toss him right back in the water. Give him a little toss. I should have tossed him further in that. Look at that, guys. That is insane. He's not even big. There's a bunch of small ones biting this huge quake right here. And I was already telling you guys, I was like, if we get bit on it, it's going to be a big one. But we've had a ton of these little rinky dinky guys biting this quake 80 over here those are the ones you gotta be careful those are the ones you gotta be careful on